Hello aspirants. I hope you are having a great day. UPSC has recently released a notification for combined geoscientist examination for the year 2023. In this video, we will be analyzing the notification in detail. This video will be beneficial in terms of do's and don'ts while filling up the application form and will give you an overall idea about the examination. I hope some of you have already gone through the notification and may have already applied. But those of you who have not applied yet, you are at the right place. So without any further ado, let's get started. On the first page of the notification, you will find out the details of how to apply for the said posts of geologist, geophysicist, chemist and hydrogeologist. UPSC has come up with a new addition to its application format. It is called one-time registration or OTR. Here, you can register with your basic details for once, create a profile and can apply for subsequent examination without having to enter the same details again and again. Basically, it will act as a single point of applicant's information. So if you have already registered with the OTR portal, you are good to go. But if you have not registered yet, you can visit the UPSC online nic.in then click on the link mentioning one-time registration for examinations of UPSC and online application and then register there. After successful registration, you can find the application form in the latest notification section in your profile and fill up the application from, uh, form with appropriate details. Uh, now let's look at some of the important dates mentioned in the notification itself. The application window has been active since 19th of uh, September and shall remain active until 11th October uh, till 12 a.m. Uh, there is a provision for withdrawal of application which will be activated from 19th till 25th of October. The first stage of the examination that is the preliminary examination will be conducted on 19th of February 2023 and the mains examination will be conducted between 24th and 25th of June 2023. So, consider this video as a reminder for applying well before the examination as you don't want any last time technical hurdles during your application process. I would urge you to keep note of these dates. <clears throat> if possible, paste the dates of examination near your study desk because this will constantly remind you of the time left before the actual examination and will help you strategize your preparation accordingly. In the eligibility criteria section of the notification, UPSC has explained everything in detail. But let's discuss the most important ones which are related to the age and educational qualification. As far as the age criteria is concerned, the applicant must have attained 21 years of age on uh, 1st January 2023 and must not have exceeded 32 years of age on the same date. So keep this cutoff date in mind before applying. There is a age relaxation of 5 years in the upper age limit for SCST candidates and of 3 years for OBC candidates. In the educational uh, qualification criteria, please keep a note of the degrees mentioned in the geologist and hydrogeologist posts. Candidates who have master's degree in geology or applied geology are eligible to apply for both the positions. But candidates with geological science or earth science background are eligible only for the geologist position and not for the hydrogeologist post posts. This is specifically applicable to uh, students passing out from institutions such as ISERS where uh, the degree is of masters in geological science. So keep a note of that before applying. And please ensure that you choose the right degree option mentioned in the application form. Now, Let's discuss about the best part of the notification, that is the vacancies. The total number of vacancies this year is 285. In 2015, the total number of application, uh, the vacancies were 269. However, uh, for the geologist post, there were only 150 posts. Uh, so you can say this is one of the highest number in the decade history of this examination. Hence, if you have missed the opportunity to get into GSI or Central Groundwater Board in the last two years, due to lack of vacancies or COVID related disruptions to your study. This is the golden opportunity for you to steal this deal. There are 216 posts for geologists and 21 posts for geophysicists at GSI and 26 and 2 posts for hydrogeologists and geophysicists respectively at Central Groundwater Board. Uh, 
So the key takeaway from this information should be that there might be a chance that this trend of vacancies may continue for for the next two or three years, but you must treat it like a one time opportunity and give it your best. There is a high probability that if you strategically approach this examination, this time your name will be in the final merit list. So let's uh, look at the scheme of this examination. The exam will be conducted in three stages. The first phase is prelims, which will consist of two papers. The general studies paper, which is common to all the posts, and the paper two will consist of subject matter, which is geology in case of uh, geologist and hydro hydrogeologist propositions. There will be 120 questions in each paper. Paper 1 will be of 100 marks and uh, paper 2 will be of 300 marks totaling to 400. In the main stage, the total marks will be of 600. There will be three papers of geology. Applicants applying only for geologist post will have to write these three papers. Applicants applying only for hydrogeologist post will have to write the paper 1 and 2 of geology in addition to the hydrogeology paper. Candidates applying for both the positions must, must write all three papers of geology along with hydrogeology paper. And then the final round consists of the interview of pers or the personality test, which consists of 200 marks. So in total, the examination carries 1200 marks. Now let's look at the previous year cutoff to analyze a safe score for clearing this examination. Uh, since in, two, uh, in the year 2021, there was no posts notified for uh, geologist position. Uh, we have the data from 2020, which uh, was conducted right after the change in examination pattern. We will take note of the general cutoff here in each stage as standard. Remember that these, these are the qualifying marks, that is uh, the minimum mark needed to clear each stage. In the prelim stage, the cutoff was 154 out of 400 which is around 38.5%. In the main stage, the cutoff after including the uh, prelim stage is 413. But if we subtract the uh, prelims cutoff and calculate it from 600 marks, we will get a cutoff of around uh, 259 marks, which is about 43%. And at the final stage, after including marks of all the three stages of stages of the examination, the cutoff is around 574 marks, which is about 48%. The reason to show you these marks is to make you aware of the kind of evaluation UPSC does and to let you know that if you can aim to achieve around 50 to 50% range in each stage, your chances of selections are very high and you will be making it into the final merit list. Last but not the least, looking at these cutoffs, you should feel more comfortable about the examination. Now, before applying, keep certain things in mind. The centers will be allotted on first apply, first serve basis. So you should apply as soon as possible if you have not yet. Because certain centers are subject to limited capacity and will be freezed once it is full. And there are limited centers for mains examination too. So you need to fill your preferences that suits you the best. The fee of the examination is 200 rupees, uh, which is exempted for female and SCST candidates. If you consider withdrawing the application, even if you withdraw it successfully, there will be no refund. So if you are applying, I would suggest to give some time for the preparation as there is almost four months available for the prelims. Do appear for the examination with a good amount of preparation and do not worry about the results. Please check the physical requirement section in detail before applying because there are many instances in past where candidates are rejected at physical verification round even after clearing all these stages. Also, make sure that there is no typographical error while filling up the application form. Be more cautious about the date of birth section because most of the times while typing the date of birth through the inbuilt calendar in the website, candidates fill it wrong. However, UPSC had suggested a remedy as rule 8 under the eligibility section for such errors. Please refer to that in case you have faced the same difficulty. Lastly, at the prelim stage, there will be one third of negative marking for each wrong answer. So while preparing for prelims, make sure you are giving your giving enough mocks uh, for minimizing the error in the final examination. So tests are important here. 
now if you have applied for the combined geoscientist examination or you are thinking of applying for this examination and looking for a single platform to prepare for all the stages of this examination we are here for you we know that most of the candidates with geology background are now struggling uh, with the general studies paper uh, after the change in the examination pattern so we at geology concept have designed courses that are well suited to the need of the of each stage of the examination and these courses uh, cover the entire syllabus of uh, geology and general studies which are taught by faculties with years of experience in geology as well as in various competitive examinations as i mentioned earlier tests are the foundation to build your conceptual clarity as well as to check your uh, retention of core concepts we have launched a dedicated integrated test series for both prelims and mains of uh, combined geoscientist examination in this we will provide you with questions that will constantly challenge your conceptual clarity model answers to improve upon your answer writing skills uh, regular st general studies quizzes to keep you updated with recent developments and also with one to one mentorship to help you identify the areas of improvement considering the time crunch and the vast amount of the syllabus this will definitely help you grasp the subject efficiently and will provide you with the much necessary guidance which is required to fast track your preparation that's it for today i hope you have found something meaningful from this video we will come up with detailed strategy videos on both prelims and mains very soon you can check out our current affairs series uh, which is updated regularly on this channel to help you stay updated with the information that is needed for this examination if you feel that you need a proper guidance you can check out our courses by clicking on the links given in the description box below thanks again and see you in the next video